Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here. Welcome back to Holland. Let's unpause the game. I just ate my pizza and it's time for some more recordings. It's a very spicy pizza, by the way. And I can feel it in my mouth. Hey, Burgundy is not no longer a valid rifle. Why not? What happened? I don't know. Yes, well, I will just take the rifles I can take. Um... Are we embargoing everyone? Oh, we have an event. What is this? Damn it. No, I'm not gonna lose any admin points. No. No, no, no. Not gonna do that. Um, embargoes. I think we are not embargoing anyone at the moment. Embargo. Bit more power projection. Uh, can we embargo you? Yes, we are already embargoing. Oh, here it is. And we can embargo Gelre. There we go. So yeah, we can... Uh, oh yeah, and I installed my uh, mod again. My, my uh, graphical mod. It's working again. So uh, that's the good news. Our income is still very good. That was weird. Yeah, you are very uppity, I know. You don't have any land, I know. I don't want to give it to you. And the institution spread. Well, for some reason Flanders has it. I don't know how that happened. And of course we have the revolts. Everything happens at the same... Happens at the beginning of this new recording session. And now I didn't pay any attention. It's fantastic. I'm gonna make one more unit because then I can flank with two units here. Then we lose less men in the end. I will wait for my uh, 13 guys and we will attack the Brabantian separatists. I remember the last episode we uh, killed Utrecht. We are coring it at the moment. Um. We are building a spy network on Burgundy. There's no possible... Oh yeah, we need to claim... You or you. Well, let's get our claims on... Uh, Brabant and Vlaanderen. Wait for the maintenance to go up and then we will attack. How is the aggressive of expansion again? 45. Yeah, we cannot expand the next years. And the truce with Burgundy is over in seven years. So maybe in seven years I will do a war again. Or I will do a humiliation war. So we can get some prestige or something. Not sure about it though. There we go. Uh, let's wait for your morale to tick up. Do we have a mil military advisor? No. Get the morale. It's fine. And then we attack. No, wait a bit longer. 2nd of January. There we go. Almost full morale. We have a cardinal. Zeeland uh, made a cardinal for us. We are winning heavily. As it should be. Very good. So... That's the Holy Roman Empire. We can try to become the Emperor as well, but that's not our priority. So we have a, uh, a Cardinal. It's fantastic. What was our mission? Prove legitimacy. That will happen when our Duke dies and our heir takes over. Maybe I should just keep that, uh, that thing. Nice. Utrecht is also cored. We can build way more ships. And I think we should, because more ships is more income. Um, yeah, I really think so. Did we build our marketplaces here? Did we build it here? Yes, okay, that's good. Um, I have to give you to the burgers, by the way. 
Okay, I'm gonna check how much more money we make in trade. We make 4.66 now. I will give it to the burgers. Oh. That's no uh, big improvement. But that's maybe because we have it sieged. It's good that it is for the burgers, I'm sure about that. Burgers like me. Uh, we can gain some money from them if you want to. Or we can do this one and get 150 Diplo points. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah, we will do this. I'm not gonna take this guy. And we will ask for 150 Diplo points. Fantastic. So we can get Diplotech 5 soon as well. Yeah, we make 5 trade now. Hmm. Of course you have some autonomy here. But I I built a I built a church here, I built a church there, yeah. So we can now actually use our money to get some more light ships. And we can go to speed four. There's no reason to stay on speed three. Since we have to get rid of our aggressive expansion. Do we have a better relation over time guy? No. Do we have a good admin guy? No. Too expensive. I don't want to lose stability. There goes our there comes our loan. But since the burgers like me again, I can ask for money. And we don't have a loan. Fantastic Dutchie, you are awesome. We have the next military tech. I will go for the longbows, I think. Defensive morale. Yeah, it's fine. Come on, get Antwerpen back. I need it. I'm gonna mothball the force again. I can't because this is sieged at the moment. So we have to wait a bit longer. Let's check ar uh, around the world. France is becoming a powerhouse. Too, too strong actually. They are taking over Provence. Castile is allied with France. Holy shit. Holy shit. They are cook they are carping up uh, Aragon. Luckily I'm allied with Austria. But maybe I should try to get an alliance with Bohemia or something. Or the Teutonic Order. Because the Teutonic Order won the war against Poland. <laughs> oh, I wish I could get the institutions. We have 8% tech penalty already. But we need it in one of our provinces. Uh, yeah, we will take this one. We should take this as quickly as possible because our tech rate is becoming more expensive over time. Due to the institution. How quickly are you getting here? Not good. Antwerpen is spreading it very quickly though, that's good news. Now we have Antwerpen back, do we get more trade power? Trade income I mean, yeah, we make 6 trade. I can turn off the maintenance of the forts. You go back, I will keep that unit though, because I will do the maintenance to 0. And then we make some money again, I will take Diplotech 5. More trade efficiency again. Even more trade income. 7.3. We are rich already. Which means we need to do this. Light ships, light ships, light ships. We have a looming disaster. What is this? What happened? What happened? How is that possible? How is this possible? I don't know. Is this based on the, the current development they control? 
If I raise the development in Holland, will that will that get rid of my uh, disaster? Maybe. I think I'm gonna check that out. Clears up my troops again. Um, Holland. Okay, wait. I'm gonna check something. You are at 80.5. If I do... Oh, I can't. I need a bit more. Um, let's give you one more military. Is that going to... No, it's still 80.5. So that is not helping. It's just the amount they, ha they, ha they own, I guess. Oh well. Oh well. Let's claim Brussels. Or Bruxelles, if you are from France. That should be our first idea group, guys. Not, co not exploration. That will be the second one. So we have to make sure what we are going to take. A military or an administrative one. Our king has a lot of admin points. Our heir has almost no diplo points though. So maybe... We should go for an admin idea group. But which one? Humanist is good. But I also want religious. I want to make the world Protestant. Because I think I will pro become Protestant. I don't know yet which idea group I take. I don't know yet. Eastricia, I'm sorry, but you are gonna die. Can I vassalize you? I guess not. No. I can't. But yeah, I'm, I'm first idea group. We can think about this for, for a while. Since we are not going to war. Hmm. No. We could go for defensive. That's a military idea group. Hmm. You can focus on military uh, points if you want to. If you want to fight Burgundy, then uh, we should be strong, right? We are six years ahead in the technology, so we can really y just use our points for development and idea groups. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Which one I will take first? It's a hard decision. Seal of Confession. Read it if you want. Holland adds size 25 to their spy network. No, oh, give me the points. Thank you. Quantity is good for Holland. So we can raise a bigger army. It will become cheaper, but it will not become stronger. Defensive gives us a good morale. More tradition, so they will fight better. Hmm. I, I, I actually don't know what I'm going to take. I don't know. Yet. I think military, exploration, expansion. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. This one, one of these, exploration, expansion, and then religious, I, I guess. So we can uh, uh, convert everything to Protestant, if they are not becoming Protestant. The Dutch ideas, do you have a... Yeah, you have a toler tolerance of heretics modifier. Together with humanists, that is very powerful. On the other hand, if we take religious... We get uh, the Deus Fault, but we also get more tolerance of the true faith, which is actually minus one unrest. As you can see here. Oh, another one took... Uh, and Castile has their union. Castile has the union over Aragon. And they are still allied. <laughs> and Liatri insulted us. 
Oh my god, the great powers are becoming very, very powerful in this uh, run. Interesting. Claim Flandre. Some things expired over here. Um, how good are you? That's not a good leader. Thank you. Fantastic. They have a lot of money, actually. Um, national tax modifier. Fantastic. That's exactly what we need. We make some taxation. So it will pay for itself. Maybe we can get a... Yeah, we should get the land maintenance modifier minus 10%. So all our advisors are paying a bit for themselves. It's really handy. Um, so since we are ahead of time in so many technologies, I will do this and we will go for military idea group. Uh, more ships, please. Because we need more trade. We are almost the most powerful trade uh, uh, nation here. That's really good, actually. Come on, guys. Give me the... Renaissance, our tech technology uh, penalty is going up and up and up. Luckily, we don't have to tech up for a while. Okay, we have to make a decision soon. We can just go for quality. More morale for the for our navies, maybe. Naval attrition. More discipline. With this, our navy and our troops will become stronger. And we get more army tradition, which is very good for... Let's have a look. The morale of armies. So even more morale as well, when I take that. I think I will go for that one. What is this? Why would it? Why would I? No. We don't need that. Ships are getting built. More trade for the Dutch. As if expansion goes to minus thirty-eight, still not low enough to capture any land. So yeah, I really think we are going to war with Burgundy in three years and take one or two provinces from them. Maybe I will take Flanders. The more coastal stuff we take, the better. More force limit for our navy. And there is the Renaissance over here. And in Brabant as well. It's nice that you can see the the spread over here. Oh no, that's a bark. Ne never mind. <laughs> that are our ships that are getting built. Yeah, just let the game run. Um, improve with the Pope again, I guess. Yeah, why not? Do my allies like me? Yes, they do. Ottomans, how are you doing? You are taking over the, the Mamluks already. Yeah, they are going on uh, on a rampage. Poland, do you have the Union? Yes, you do. Denmark is going nuts here. England is at war with who? Ulster. England had the War of the Roses. Did we lose our claim? No. They claimed us, I think. We can build more buildings. Is a church doing something for us? In the long run, it will for sure do something. What is this? The bourgeoisie request. I can do this. I can do this. But I can also do this because we have the silver tongue. is way better. 
Yeah, it was a really good one. Because we are silver tongued. There it is. War morale. Yeah, I, I really think I go for quality ideas. It's not only good for our armies, it's good for uh, infantry combat ability, for our morale, because of the army tradition, for ship durability, more morale of our navies against England, for example. And later on we will have some artillery and more discipline. So I really think I go for quality. It's a good first idea, idea group, I, I guess. I really think so. If I would attack Burgundy. Let's uh, see if I can claim something more before I remove my diplomat. Um, no, I don't think so. So you can come back. If I attack you. Would France help me again? They will. And Austria would help as well. And I see we will fight England then. Really? Switzerland, Mainz. England doesn't want to join right now. Because they have a rivalry attitude. Are you allies or what? Why? Wait. Why would you join? On the enemy side. Why? Oh wait. We have been warned by England. Oh yeah. Um, then I can do this. Attack Breda. Would they join that? No. Maybe. Maybe France would join that. We will see. Uh, Carotine the port. I always take that option. And this is going to be this one. Not gonna lose anything to my enemies in the field. Can come back, improve with France. France is the new Pope, so they are not excommunicated anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take quality. It's a really good idea, group. Stronger armies, that is what we need. And stronger navy. Making 8 trade at the moment. Going to build the uh, church in Antwerpen as well. Good base tax over here. Institution wise we are doing great. It's already in a lot of provinces around us. And soon we will have it as well. It's very nice. It, 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 it is spreading in uh, Italy. Savoy. And then here. In the low countries. Okay. I will take the first idea group. There we go. Better infantry combat ability. It's a really good one. Since I'm using only infantry, we will make use of that a lot. Okay, the last building slot, I guess, in Antwerpen. I could build some marketplaces over here as well, and maybe I will do that. But not right now. Maybe I should do some more development. You are 20. You are far away of 20. Development here is plus 60%. Really? Plus 60? Let's use this uh, screen. So you are at 20. 63, 71, 71, 59 over here. Renaissance plus 3. 
87 over there. So Antwerpen is actually really cheap. Let's do one of these. And let's do two of these. It's nice that you can see how the city is growing when you develop your province. And now Gelre is no longer a rival. Because we have too much development. Isn't that fantastic? But now we can rival Burgundy again. Yay! Revoke. And... Embargo. I think I'm going to build a spy network and claim Calais. And that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And in the next video... Well, the truth is over, I guess, with Burgundy. So we will attack Burgundy in the next episode. Bye-bye.